Hello, welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers encounter on Google Cloud. My name is Connor Hammersmith and I'm on the Security Command Center go-to-market team. And I'm joined by Makesh Marodia from our product management team at Google Cloud. In this video on operationalizing Security Command Center findings, we'll discuss common customer use cases and how they leverage SEC findings to secure their cloud operations. Security Command Center is Google Cloud's flagship security product, providing visibility into cloud assets, identifying misconfigurations and vulnerabilities, compliance reporting, and identifying security threats across your environment. In order to take full advantage of the valuable insights that Security Command Center can provide, it is important to understand that different findings may have different audiences. You can curate the findings that are sent to each user group to avoid overloading them with alerts. The most common use case we see is streaming threat findings to a SIM so that your security operations team can properly triage and mitigate these security events. Another common use case is monitoring misconfigurations and vulnerabilities identified by security health analytics. These findings are used to monitor for potential compliance reporting issues in real time while shifting left by trying to get these findings into the hands of developers before they even migrate infrastructure to production. One of the most important aspects of operationalizing Security Command Center findings is taking advantage of the ability to stream security events to third-party systems that are already ingrained into your business processes. SEC has been built to leverage Google Cloud's data processing expertise to stream security events to your most critical applications. Whether that is creating new events in your SIM, sending messages via Slack, or creating tickets in JIRA and ServiceNow, SCC is built to meet those use cases. We also provide out-of-the-box integration with Chronicle and Simplify to facilitate further investigation into security events and drive automated response and remediation activities. When thinking about how your organization may best operationalize security command center findings, it is, it is important to understand that SEC Premium supports the ability to provide scoped views. This allows end users to view SEC findings that correspond to where they are in the Google Cloud resource hierarchy. For example, accessing SEC from the organization level will allow visibility into findings for all projects. Accessing Security Command Center from a folder or project will restrict findings accordingly. SEC provides multiple ways to view findings, including a high-level overview, a page specific to threat findings. The vulnerabilities page includes posture management findings from security health analytics and vulnerabilities identified by our web security scanner. The compliance page allows you to quickly view how your infrastructure is benchmarked against multiple regulatory frameworks. The findings page is a one-stop shop for all findings in Security Command Center. The Security Command Center team has recently released a new and improved user experience for the findings page. Let's kick it over to Makesh to walk us through the enhanced findings UI workflow in the console. Take it from here, Makesh. Thank you, Connor. I'm equally excited. So for the purpose of this demo, let's say I'm a security analyst. I spend majority of my time on the finding page. The, the new query and quick filters has make my job extremely easy. The quick filter on the left allows me to look at different categories of finding with the numbers. I can pick on the category which I'm interested in. I can look the finding by class or drill down by project ID or resource type, which are there. In this case, I'm just going to look at all high severity finding. But if I want, I can look at just the thread coming from VMTD or look at the misconfiguration coming from security health analytics. As I have selected the high severity threats here, the query builder on the top got updated. But I'm going to add few more filters from the query builder. I could choose different resources like container or databases or choose a compliance regime like CIS and go to the specific version of it. In this case, I'm going to look at a miter track technique called cloud accounts, which I'm most interested about and apply this filter here. And I can see that on 7th of September, there are two IMNR LMS grant which were given. I'm going to look at one of them here. In the new finding page, I could see 
which are the service account which are which are involved in this threat but I can also see what was the specific action done here here the service account was given a role which we never recommend what is especially useful for me is to click on this down arrow and it shows me all the finding associated with the service account delegation information uh, upon clicking this I can see that the filter here is getting updated and it is going to show me all the findings associated with that delegation and not only i can see the anomalous i am grand but i can see that there is a big query exfiltration here which has happened and apart from the service accounts which was in question we could also see the table from where the data is getting exfiltrated and the target where the data was going and very quickly we can get to the detail here so in summary the query built on the top the quick built on the left and the new finding page makes my job a lot more easy and that concludes this demo